What's up guys, it's Christopher Sliman coming at you again with a brand new video. So I gotta go get dressed and we're gonna be hitting a workout. So the point of this video today is I'm gonna be just showing you guys everything that I'm doing. It's gonna show you every workout, every rep and set. Um, and while I'm working out, I'm gonna be voice overing this workout and talking to you guys about my strategies to regain lost strength. You know, I feel like ever since quarantine, uh, started and I haven't been in the gym for like four or five months now that everything's opening back up again I've noticed that a lot of my strength has just Washed down the drain every time I'm trying to do like old weights that I used to kill I see that I've been struggling so I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my strategies regarding uh, you know regaining lost strength and what I'm doing and how I'm working out differently so that way I can maximize my gains. If you guys like what you're hearing, if you guys like what you see while, as you're watching that video, then hit the thumbs up button, smash that subscribe button, and hit the little notification bell so you know when I post. And with that being said, guys, it's time to go get dressed, and I'll see y'all at the gym. Let's do it, baby. All right, guys, let's get started. So the first thing I wanna mention when it comes to regaining your lost strength and uh, getting those gains back would be to start lightly start slowly uh, don't just hop right into it and go for your one rep max especially if you've been taking the quarantine off and you've been off for about three months with no gym um, it's definitely smarter and uh, just you know more safe for you to go back into it with a slow build up to that one rep max I believe that if you're an experienced lifter, you can hit that back within two to four weeks. You'll be right back to where you left off. And if you are a beginner or intermediate, it might take a little longer. It might take six to eight weeks even. Uh, the point is you don't want to overdo it. I personally start with uh, three to five sets of about five to eight reps per set. Um, and I'll usually increase the weight towards the last sets when the weight is about as high as it'll get which i say should be anywhere between 75 to 80 percent of your one of your old one rep max uh, you can drop from five to eight reps to about three to five reps for your last set or two what you gain from this here is you're just challenging yourself um, you're just progressively overloading and as you keep doing this over time throughout the weeks um, you know your strength will come back you'll notice that you can do more it won't be as hard you can continue increasing your weight uh, the next thing that I want to mention is mixing your compound and isolation exercises so I personally prefer to start with my compound lifts as you guys can see here uh, first workout was bench press and I prefer to do this because I want to let my central nervous system adjust to uh, the muscles being utilized to um, more muscles being utilized it's just a great way to warm up it's a great way to uh, let your nervous system you know just prepare itself to to work hard uh, you don't want to shock it you just want to allow your central nervous system to adjust to the weights you're using and the muscles now when it comes to your isolation exercises I prefer to go slow and to really strengthen your mind muscle connection what I mean by that is you want to lift you want to lift slowly with purpose and you really just want to think about the muscle that you're working on and contract it like for example when I'm doing the leg press I am going up and down as slowly as possible I'm thinking about my leg muscle I'm feeling every contraction and I'm really I'm just trying to work that mind muscle connection now the next part that I want to talk about is your form I believe that form comes before anything else um, you start light and you use your good form to reduce the risk of injury and you want to reduce the risk of injury because injury is going to slow down your ac your acquisition or your reacquisition of gains it just makes sense you know if you're injured you can't work out if you can't work out you're not making gains simple as that good form also helps with your recovery time and if you can recover quicker then you can lift more often and you can speed up your recovery of gains it all comes back to the gains just do whatever you can to get those gains okay <laughs> um, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the frequency so how often do you need to train your muscles to regain your strength 
So that's a very good question and my answer to that would be focus on one muscle group at a time. So if you want to start, let's say for example, by strengthening your deadlift, you're going to want to deadlift, I would say anywhere from two to four times per week, two being the absolute minimum, I would really shoot for three to four times per week on the deadlift. Um, you want to make sure you're doing it in good form so that way you can recover. I say you work out, you work out uh, that lift every other day good form so on your rest day that you're not doing deadlifts for example you will be recovering um, and any other muscle group that you're not specifically focusing you would hit about one to two times per week so for example I'm gonna give you guys uh, my one of my workout plans right now it's it's a six day uh, workout plan and for me I'm trying to focus right now on regaining my chest uh, my chest so my bench press I will bench press Monday and then Tuesday I'll do back and biceps, Wednesday I will bench some more, Thursday I'll do some legs, Friday I will bench some more, and then Saturday I will do abs and cardio, and Sunday is my rest day, and Monday I start over again. Even sometimes I will actually do again my chest on Monday. I personally like to play it by ear, and Sunday is a day where I will either work out again or I will take it off depending on how I feel, but I really don't recommend this for beginners or for intermediate lifters. I believe that it is very important at first to have a recovery day and give your central nervous system time to recover and uh, allow you to come back fresh the day after. So with that being said guys, obviously um, everything you do in the gym is just one part of the equation. The next big part is make sure you get all the sleep you can, you know, at least shoot for eight hours a night, drink water and stay hydrated because your muscles, I believe, off the top of my head, I'd say are is more than 70% water and I'll put up the numbers because I don't want to sound like a jackass if I'm getting everything wrong. <laughs> but I do know it's at least 70% made up of water. So water is very important and make sure that your protein consumption is good. If you want to really, if you want to gain size, then you also want your calories up. If you just want to gain strength, then I believe having a slight surplus of calories or maybe even just eating at your maintenance weight would be fine as long as you eat about 0.8 to 1.2 grams of protein per body weight. I just shoot for one gram per body weight. So um, right now I weigh 210 and I would probably eat about 190 grams of protein because that's where I'm trying to drop my weight down to while I'm cutting. So with that being said guys, I'm going to keep the rest of the video up. I'll show you guys the rest of my workout. And if you guys liked what you saw, like what you're hearing, then please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And thank you guys for being the best part of YouTube. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay health, stay healthy, and keep on chasing those gains, guys.
back to the live footage. I just want to thank you guys for watching and sticking around. As always, we appreciate all the support that you show me. And uh, if you guys liked what you saw, if you guys learned something or anything I said was uh, helpful in any way, shape, or form, then please smash that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell right next to it So that way you'll know every time I upload and uh, take a look at my social media my at is uh, my Instagram is uh, sly guy Chris and uh, It just has a whole lot of a uh, whole lot more of me if you guys enjoy what you see then uh, Then go follow me there too as always. I appreciate you guys and thank you for being the best part of YouTube for me You guys are the best. Thank you. Bye. Bye